Hello viewers, I am Gurpit Kaur Bhullar, Assistant Professor in Physics Department of Matagusri College, Fatigarh Sahib. I am going to discuss the magnetic field due to solenoid. Solenoid is a common electrical component which is used a lot in everyday life. Study of magnetic field due to solenoid experiment has objectives like familiarity with the magnetic field produced by the solenoid, dependence of field on number of turns, variation in current, variation of distances. Basic parts of the solenoid coil are shown in this figure. Basically, solenoid is defined by a current I flowing through the wire that is wrapped by n turns per unit length on a cylinder of radius R. When current is passed through this conducting insulated copper wire, it behaves as a bar magnet. And magnetic field produced is uniform inside the solenoid and it behaves as an electromagnet. This electromagnet solenoids has various applications in locking systems, pressure valves, MRI machines, hard disk drives, speakers, car engines, etc. Magnetic field produced in the middle of the infinitely long solenoid here is B is equal to mu naught N I. B is the magnetic field produced due to the current passing through the wire. Mu naught is the permeability. And N is the number of turns per unit length. I is the current passing through this battery. Magnetic field at the end of infinitely long cylinder is half of the magnetic field at the middle. That is B is equal to mu naught N I by 2. Observations recorded will be filled up in this table. Length of the solenoid L. Diameter of the solenoid using vernier caliper at three points and its mean is taken. Then number of turns, different tappings N1, N2, N3 will be written here. The first table shows the number of turns used which is con kept constant in this first table and current will be varied through this ammeter and corresponding induced EMF will be noted from the voltmeter. So, this graph will give us dB over dt directly proportional to induced EMF E. Second table shows the dependence of B on number of turns. As we increase the number of turns from 220 to 440 to 660, millivolt meter reading that is induced EMF E will increase and the ratio of E by N will be a constant quantity. In the third part, dependence of B on the position along x-axis that will be studied and for that number of turns N will be kept constant, current past I will be kept constant and reading will be taken by taking the distance from the center of the coil towards left side and when we increase the distance gradually. Induced EMF will first remain constant, then will decrease towards the endpoints. Similarly, readings will be taken from the right side and induced EMF will be noted. And this table will give us a graph like this. At the center, magnetic field is maximum. It will be stagnant up to some length. Then after covering some distance, it will keep on decreasing slowly. Up to this point x, effective length of solenoid is countered. After that, value of magnetic field reduces to almost half at the endpoints. To study the magnetic field due to solenoid, this is the apparatus used. This is a tape bound solenoid in which insulated copper wire is wrapped over a core. And from this rod, we can see the length of this solenoid around 26 centimeter is the length L of the rod and we can check the diameter of this solenoid using this vernier caliper at three different points here, here and here. Then we will take the mean of this diameter and here are three sets of number of turns per unit length 220, 440 and 660. And we will connect this solenoid 
to this milli volt meter to check the induced emf this is rheostat which is connected to the ampere meter the other end of the ampere meter is connected to the common of the solenoid this side this is connected to the common of solenoid and this connection is for the different turns of the solenoid the other end of the rheostat is connected to the different number of turns so in first part we will change the current we will vary the current from this rheostat and fix the number of turns for the solenoid and take the reading of milli volt meter and reading of current from this ampere meter see i have connected number of turns n 440 and i am changing the current 0.2 this is around 20 milli volt meter when i increase the current 2.3 the induced emf is increased to 200 milli volt and when i further increase the current 2.4 it is uh, induced emf is up to 300 milli volt meter with further increasing it will keep on increasing so we can say with increasing current magnetic field value or induced emf is increased in our second part we will keep this current fixed i am fixing it at point 3 ampere and i'm changing the number of turns now we will see the effect of number of turns on the magnetic field when it is 220 the induced emf is around 100 milli volt when i connect this terminal to the 440 number of turns it is increased to 200 we will note the value of e that is milli volt 200 milli volt and value of this current 0.3 now i'm further disconnecting this number of turns and i'm connecting and increasing number of turns to 660 there is further increase in while keeping this keep the current constant at 0.3 ampere you can see milli volt meter reading has reached up to 300 milli volt means with increasing number of turns there is a increase in induced emf and e by n ratio remains same distance on the value of magnetic field we will keep the search coil the pickup coil at the center of the solenoid at this moment the search coil is at the center and we know that at the center magnetic field value b is equal to mu not n i and it will keep on decreasing when we move towards the end point and it will be around half at the end point let's see i have fixed number of turns to 440 current is fixed to 2.8 ampere and now i am moving this coil towards left this will act as a x axis and search coil is placed perpendicular inside it at this moment at zero distance The reading of milli volt meter is around 520 milli volt, and when I gradually change the distance towards left, this value will be constant up to certain distance. Up to 8 centimeter, it is 520. Then after that, at 10 centimeter, it is reduced to 400. At 12 centimeter, it is reduced to 250 Similarly when i move this coil towards right from the center this voltmeter reading will decrease when i move this search coil towards the right end you can see at the center it was 520 and at the end points it is around 250 so we have seen that magnetic field inside the solenoid is uniform and it keep on decreasing when it move towards end points and it is 
half at the end point that is b is equal to mu not ni by 2 talking about the expected questions the question arises to mind is how you find the plateau of a current carrying solenoid so observer which says if current at one end of the solenoid is in anti clockwise direction it will be northward and if current is in clockwise direction which observer on other side of the solenoid will see it will be clockwise south pole next what are the four ways to increase the magnetic field first is b is equal to n mu not i number of turns will increase the magnetic field strength of current will increase the magnetic field and nature of core material that is mu not will also make the solenoid more effective to magnetic field why iron core used to enhance the solenoid so this is the air core and if we put this iron rod inside it it will behave as the iron core as compared to this air core an iron core has the effect of multiplying the magnetic field about 100 times greater thanks for watching video